I'm Leanne Kusamana Roque, certified Iyengar yoga teacher at Yoga for All Bodies in Western Virginia in the United States. Here are five standing poses that you can do daily to build your strength. The first is Trikonasana, triangle pose. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet, three and a half to four and a half feet apart. The feet have to be wide to allow space for the thigh bone to seat and rotate in the hip socket. I'll be mirroring you. Turn the right leg out 90 degrees. Turn the left toes in. Keep the torso facing straight ahead. And then draw from the outer knee to the outer hip to draw the thigh bone into the hip socket. Only go down so far as the side ribs on the bottom uh, of the body stay long. And then press into the back foot. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, right toes in. If you find that coming to the floor or coming down is difficult or you want additional support, use a wall, a dresser, a counter, or a chair. Reach the front hand out to the support. Lift the upper arm up. Press into the back foot. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Jump or step the feet back together. Repeat, bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet, three and a half to four and a half feet apart. Turn the right leg out, left toes in. Draw the outer knee to the outer hip and lift the upper arm towards the ceiling. Move the top shoulder blade across the back to the bottom shoulder blade to rotate the torso towards the center of the room. Press into the back foot, inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, right toes in. Draw back from the outer knee to the outer hip. Either reach to the support or reach to the leg or the floor. And inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Jump or step the feet back together. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest. Jump or step the feet. Turn the right leg up, left toes in. Take the hands to the hips, warm up the body by bending the knees a few times. Keep the back leg strong, pressing strongly back. Keep the front knee over or behind the front ankle and keep the torso pointing straight ahead. Go up and down, up and down, and then stop in the down position. Aim to have this thigh parallel to the floor. Lift the arms, turn the head to look at the forward hand. Inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front, turn the left leg out, right toes in, hands to the hips, go up and down again. Keep that knee over or behind that front ankle and keep the knee pointing between the second and third toes. Don't let it roll in or roll out. And then stop. Aim to have this front thigh parallel to the floor. Keep the back leg strong. Lift the arms. Turn the head to look at the forward hand. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Jump or step the feet back together. Repeat. Warrior two. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest. Jump or step the feet. Turn the right leg out. Left toes in. Sit the sit bones down. Turn the head to look at the forward hand. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Left leg out, right toes in, sit, sit bones down, look at the forward hand. Keep the torso in the middle. Inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front, jump or step the feet back together. Utita Parshvakanasana, extended side angle. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet. Turn the right leg out, left toes in. We come right through warrior two, which we just did. Take the back hand to the back hip, Take the front forearm to the front thigh. Keep the back leg pressing back strong. Okay. Rotate the top shoulder blade across the back to the bottom shoulder blade so the torso is facing straight ahead. First time we're going to do it non-classically and place the hand inside the uh, leg to the inner ankle. Then take the top hand to the top ear and shoot the arm out over the head. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, right toes in. Sit the sit bones down, back hand to the back waist, front hand to the thigh. Okay. 
If when you come take the hand to the inside of the ankle, the torso rolls forward, instead give yourself height, a chair or the dresser or a counter or a brick to give yourself length in the bottom ribs. Then top hand over the top ear and inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front, jump or set the feet back together. Uttita Parsvakanasana, done classically this time. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet. Turn the right leg out, left toes in. Sit, sit, bones down. Take the front forearm to the front thigh, back hand to the back waist. And this time, take the hand to the outside of the ankle. Take the top hand over the top ear and shoot the arm out of the head. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, right toes in. Sit the sit bones down, front forearm to the front thigh. Take the hand to the outside of the ankle, top hand to the top ear. Shoot the arm out of the head. Inhale, come up. Turn the feet to the front. Jump or set the feet back together. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet. Turn the palms up, lift the arms. This time, turn the entire right leg and torso to face to the right. Lift the arms to lift the ribs. Sit the sit bones down while keeping the middle buttock moving into the bottom. You want that front thigh to come parallel to the floor and the knee to stay stacked over the ankle or behind it. Draw back from the outer knee to the outer hip on the front leg. Inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, torso out, and lift the arms to lift the ribs. Sit the sit bones down, keep equal weight in the back leg in all these poses. And inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front. Jump or step the feet back together. Repeat, bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet. Turn the palms up, lift the arms to lift the ribs. If the arms will stay straight, you can bring the palms together. Turn the right leg and the torso to face towards the right. Sit the sit bones down while lifting the ribs so the front thigh comes to 90 degrees, equal weight in the back leg. Inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg and the torso to face to the left. Sit the sit bones down, push back into that back leg. Lift up, inhale, come up, turn the feet to the front. Jump or step the feet back together. Warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. We'll come right through warrior one, the pose we just did. Bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet. Turn the palms up. Lift the arms. Turn the entire right leg and torso to face towards the right. Lift the ribs up off the heads of the legs so you can sit the sit bones down and come to 90 degrees. Then hinge at the hip creases so the torso is parallel to the floor. Push off with the back leg to lift up. And then to come out. Bend the front knee, take the torso back to the thigh, inhale, come back up into warrior one, straighten the front leg, turn the feet to the front. Turn the left leg out, torso out. Sit the sit bones down. Hinge at the hip creases. So that the torso comes parallel to the floor. Then push off with the back leg, need support on one side or the other if you have an injury like I have on the back uh, on the leg and lift the back leg let the torso be parallel to the floor and the hips level then bend the front knee to come down torso parallel to the floor inhale come back up into warrior one straighten the front leg turn the feet to the front jump or set the feet back together and repeat, bring the fingertips in front of the chest, jump or step the feet, turn the palms up, turn the left leg out, 
torso out, sit the sit bones down, lay the torso on the thigh, push off with the back leg to come up, bend the front knee, come back, torso parallel to the floor, back to warrior one, straighten the front leg, turn the feet to the front, left leg out, right toes in, sit the sit bones down, hinge at the hip creases to make the torso parallel to the floor, push off with the back leg to come up, And then bend the front knee, step the back leg back, come back to warrior one, straighten the front leg, turn the feet to the front, and jump or step the feet back together. From here, you can go into your inversions, Shivshasana, headstand, and shoulder stand, Sarvangasana, or you could just lay down in Shavasana for three to five minutes. Enjoy. 